How's it going, people? A little insomnia, trying to chase it with scotch. That's helping some. But really, what's really helping is uh, reading this book. Yeah, I'm reading it again. Thinking about, well, no real plans, but I might, I might want to do something video-wise where I read from it. I'll have to get good and plastered if I do, since I'm no longer uh, going to be getting drunk and reading the Koran, or even too many cool Muslims have uh, asked me not to do it. So I I listen to people, but uh, reading this book, uh, I need all the help I can get. Reading it though has made me think about a few events that have happened to me. And I guess there's one I could probably share with you in greater detail. I had a, uh, my wrestling coach uh, was a Mormon and he was the best damn coach we ever had. We came in fourth in the league that year and we used to get our asses handed to us every year before and after. <laughs> uh, my school sucked. What can I say? But I mean, this guy was a terrific wrestler. And, uh, you know, he was a very energetic and enthusiastic guy. He just couldn't separate uh, his job of being a coach with his mission of pushing this religion on people. He even convinced uh, our, you know, the I guess you'd call it our team captain. I mean, the best wrestler we had on the team. I mean, a guy who was undefeated that year. And um, he lost very few matches anyway. He was just phenomenal. He was a Roman Catholic. And my coach convinced him that his parents' religion was of the devil. And that the Pope was the Antichrist because uh, something said by... Lehi, a fictional character, but they didn't believe that. I do. Um, so this guy, I'll say his name was MF, so I can discuss him without saying his name. That were that was his real initials, MF, and he turned out to be a real MFer. <laughs> um, he. Um, abandoned Catholicism and became a Mormon because of my coach. And my coach got like five other guys to go to that church for a while. and But I think only MF is still a Mormon to this day. Um, dumped his girlfriend that he had since the sixth grade because she was Catholic and she wouldn't convert. And um, the reason why he was coach only one year is, uh, I mean, some parents came unglued over this. It's one thing to be religious and to be a wrestling coach. It's a, it's another thing to tell some teenager who isn't even a consenting age that his parents are deluded and that the religion they brainwash their child into is false. And yeah, that's why he was a wrestling coach only one year, because he really did cross the line there. He wasn't supposed to be proselytizing. He was supposed to uh, make us a winning wrestling team. But Mormonism was far more important to him. I know that he meant well. He thought he was rescuing people. He was rescuing them from false religions by introducing them to his bogus religion. And uh, it's too bad. I remember him. We were at a, an out-of-town uh, tournament. And we were all nervous. I mean, it was my first tournament I'd been to. And and um, I didn't win a lot of matches. Uh, I wasn't that great a wrestler. I just... I did have a fighting spirit. But um, I just wasn't the best wrestler. And I lost a lot of matches. I won a few. 
and uh, so we were nervous. And the coach uh, wanted us to, you know, listen to some inspirational words from our most winning uh, teammate, MF. And of course, MF couldn't leave this out of it. So uh, he spoke about how he was raised in the church of the devil until he found the truth the true religion of Mormonism, and how the devil tried to make him lose a match. He was that petty. Because we all know wrestling ma a wrestling match is the most important thing in the world. Well, MF was, he told us in his inspirational speech how he was wrestling against a guy who was really good. And that while he was wrestling this guy, he was getting a gas cramp in his ribs and and he was getting a charley horse and his strength was he was he was becoming fatigued and he was against a tough opponent so he prayed to God while wrestling and he was filled with this spirit and this her this Herculean excuse me Samson Samsonite strength <laughs> filled him up and he won the match because God wanted him to win that wrestling match he didn't pray for anything else. He didn't pray to make the world a better place, to feed the hungry, to stop war and crimes and serial killers and everything else. No, no. He prayed to win a wrestling match, and God granted that. If he was that good at praying, it's too bad he couldn't have prayed for something better. But he prayed selfishly, and God decided, you know, I can do that. It doesn't go against my will that people should suffer. So, he won the match. And the you know, their coach is like looking on with pride over his latest inductee. You know, and I don't think anyone else really stayed a Mormon with him, though. But uh, that's just one story. And I think I'm going to try to get some sleep. I'll talk about this some more. Anyway, you all take care. I hope you're doing well. And... Uh, Peace out.